What's going on guys and girls in today's video i'll be doing a review of phrase so phrase is a content optimization tool kind of like new and writer and surfer seo so you start by entering a search query in which you would like to target and rank for and then we'll give you recommendations in which you need to follow to rank for that keyword for example let's say i wanted to rank for the article how to get a mortgage in toronto as a newcomer that would be obviously the keyword in which i'm going after after i've done my keyword research i'm going to change my country and my language to whatever country and language you are in and then we're going to go ahead and create that document. So once you click search, that's where it's actually going to go ahead and go through all of these websites that rank for this specific keyword. So again, it's going through nesto.com. It's going to RBC, wawa.ca, moving to canada.com and so on. So this is really cool because you can actually see and not just, you know, believe that it's going to go ahead and scrape all of these websites we can see that it's actually going ahead and scraping these sites and giving us the best possible data and the best possible recommendations. Okay, so now we need to optimize the content with phrases, topic score. Phrase provides a list of key topics mentioned by your competitors. Include these topics in your articles to create content that Google will love. Write with AI Assistant. So they have an AI Assistant that you can write. Um, so again, you can go ahead and start writing um, each section if you'd like to do so. I would prefer to use my own writing, writing methods like using Claude or ChatGPT like I show you guys on this channel. But you can use whatever you like. So once it's loaded up, then all you have to do is go ahead and start your content optimization. You can start by taking a look at the SERP overview. This is where you're going to see the questions that Google asks. You can also see the outline. So this is where we can actually build the outline for the document. So we can explore headlines. We can start by exploring each outline and we'll be able to see each outline from each website. So we see RBC, we can see Scotiabank, and we can see their actual outlines uh, for that specific article. So once you select those outlines, that will start building your outline for that article. So we can see anything here that is relevant, that makes sense. We can start manually building our outline. So there's two methods in which you can go about um, creating your content. You can first start by building your outline and then take that outline and prompt it into Claude or ChatGPT to get your article, or you can build it onto phrase and then actually write the content on phrase. Once you have your outlines built, then you can click on the button which has paste headers into the editor, and that's going to paste your headings and your outline onto the actual editor. We can use their AI article feature if you have a paid plan, and this will actually allow you to write the full articles. You can generate full articles with a step by step process. It uses search results or provides um, or you can provide your own information. So you need to have a higher plan to do so. I personally don't really like using any of these tools built in AI writers. I prefer to use ChatGPT or Claude. So once you have your outline build, now you have to go ahead and optimize the content. If you wanted to write the full article, what we can do is we can start by using the SEO prompts. So just head over to the SEO prompts document and you want to copy over the system prompt. We're going to paste in our um, first prompt to generate an outline, but instead of telling it to generate its own outline, I'm going to tell it to use this outline instead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over the outline from phrase and we're going to paste that into Claude and also make sure to copy over the topic and paste it into the correct section. And then we're going to run this and it's going to create an outline. And based upon this outline, we can then go ahead and write the full article. So once you write the full article, then it's simply going ahead and copy and pasting it into the editor and you'll be able to get an optimization score. So the outline has been finished generating. Now I'm going to go ahead and generate the full article by using the prompt for generation of the full article. The outline is now completed. We're going to run the prompt to generate the full article, writing in an SEO optimized format. And once our article is generated, then we are going to go ahead and paste that into the content editor and start improving our SEO score. As you can see, we're getting a pretty long and pretty in-depth article here. And that's because we prompted the AI by giving it our own outline. Sometimes when you actually give the AI your own outline, instead of having it generate its own outline, you're able to get much better outputs because the AI is able to follow those instructions a little bit better. So this is a really, really long article. It actually even cut off. So you'd have to tell it to continue writing but this is probably well over 2000 words. So if we take a look at the word count here, this is 2,300 words. So if you actually continued writing the article, it would be a lot longer. But for this example, let's just go ahead and copy over the full article. And we're gonna head back over to phrase. We're gonna remove these headings in which we added because we don't need them anymore. We're gonna paste in the full article here. And we can see here, we've already went ahead from a zero to 78% optimized and the average score is a 48. So that means that you are actually, if you were to post this on Google, your article will be ranking much better than the average score of your competitors. In terms of word count, it is pretty high. All we'd have to do is add some uh, manual headers inside of the article. So we wanna make sure that our H1s and our H2s are all being tagged. So right now, 
um, it's not being taxed. So if you actually go ahead and add your H1s and your H2s, I guarantee you, you can get this up to a 90 plus score, which is really, really good. And you can be confident that if you paste that and you post that on Google, that this article will actually rank and start getting you search traffic. So once you're finished optimizing, then you can head over to links. And this is where you can add in external links. So this will show you some excerpts in which you can actually go ahead and add some external links to build some topical authority within your article. And you want to make sure you're following the best practices. You want to include some internal links uh, to the article. You want to include some images. You want to make sure you're creating a very optimized title and made a description as well, just to make sure that all of those keywords are being picked up from Google. And once you follow um, those best practices, in addition with using phrase, you will have a very, very optimized piece of article that you can be confident posting on Google. So if you guys want to check out phrase for yourself, there will be a link below this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.